Chapter 4, Section 1 Back and Flow with Diamond and Radiant. In this section of the video series, we will be reviewing the ways that Propel projects are exported to Diamond and Radiant, as well as the possible next steps that you can take for your project. So, with that said, let's get started by discussing how Propel projects are exported to Diamond and Radiant. So, the first thing that you should know about Propel projects is that depending on your project's target device, you will need to use either the diamond or radiant icons from Propel's toolbar in order to export your project to either tool. By clicking on either icon, a new tickle script will be generated that exports your current SOC project to either diamond or radiant. For projects that are exported to radiant, the generated tickle script will be called radiant underscore setup underscore template dot tickle, while for diamond projects, the generated script will be called diamond underscore setup underscore template dot tickle. Another thing is that by clicking either of the icons mentioned before, either Diamond or Radiant will also launch after generating these scripts, and then it'll automatically invoke these scripts in order to create a new project in either tool. The new Diamond or Radiant project that is generated will be located in the top of the directory of your Propel Builder SOC project. Aside from that, the two things that you should be sure to check before exporting your project is that your Verilog wrapper has been generated already and that your SOC's memory allocation also has no issues. Otherwise, you may get a pop-up warning preventing you from exporting your project. Finally, the last thing that you should know about how Propel projects are exported is that you only need to click the icon in Propel Builder to generate the project the first time. The reason for this is because your Verilog wrapper file handles any changes that you make to your SOC design, meaning you only need to regenerate it in Propel for your changes to synchronize in either Diamond or Radiant. Because of this, it's important that you continuously regenerate your Propel Builder project's Verilog wrapper as you make changes to your SOC to ensure that those changes are synchronized with either your Diamond or Radiant projects. With that said, let's move on to the next portion of this section, where we'll discuss some of the possible next steps once you've exported your project from Propel Builder. The main takeaway that you should get from this slide is that there are a few different aspects to impact the next steps that you take in your Propel project development flow after your project has been exported to Diamond or Radiant. The first of these conditions that determine your next steps is the template that you selected during project creation for your SOC project. For empty project templates, you'll most likely need to add physical and timing constraints and also verify that your design meets timing and does not have any issues. If you use a board select template during project creation, you can simply continue on with the project development process as those templates come with constraints and have been verified to meet timing and be functionally correct on each of the respective devices that the template was designed for. Additionally, another condition that determines your possible next steps is the software tool that your Propel project was exported using. The reason for this is because there are some differences between the supported features between Radiant and Diamond. For example, one of the main differences that you should know about is that although Reveal Analyze is supported in Diamond, only Radiant can be used for single cable JTAG debugging, as Diamond's version of Reveal does not yet support the cable server modifications that enable single cable JTAG debugging with OpenOCD in Propel SDK. With that said, the main usage of Radiant and Diamond for Propel projects is to perform synthesis, then map, then place and route, and finally bitstream generation and programmer in order to generate a bitstream file and program your device with that file. Ultimately, these are recommendations and are only meant to serve as an example for the possible next steps in your project development flow. Depending on the complexity and specs for your project, there may be some other aspects of Radiant or Diamond that you use to further develop your Propel projects. For more information about the various features and flows that are available within Radiant, refer to the Radiant introductory video training series on our Lattice Semi website and YouTube channel. That concludes this chapter of the video training series. To watch the next video in the series, Select the video titled Section 4.2, Verification Project Flow.